title bender, Israel Adesanya and Joel Romero. Right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick and fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, that could have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Ah, that jab hurt him. Nice job by Romero there on the feet, not only sticking, but moving to avoid the counterattack coming back. It's the head move. It's the athleticism of Yoel Romero that allows him to be standing there flat-footed and just get out of the way whenever you try to hit him. He's always been a phenomenal athlete, and he continues to be that even as he's aged. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Got flip with the right hands. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybal class or something like that. Effective strike there by Romero. Slips that left hand. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure... He's running and running and running. He's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Adesanya. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Real quick leg kick. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard. Oh. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. Round two on the way. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with his beautiful leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Soldier of God gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, no wasted motion there. Romero loads up on the right hand and finds the target. I mean, you watch him. He's knocked out some of the greatest middleweights of all time. Luke Rockman, Chris Weidman. He's put guys to sleep in a variety of ways, and tonight he does it again. So 64 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And a 45% accuracy rate thus far against Yoel Romero. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Oh, goes for the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Trying to establish that jab Man, once again. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. 
Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. have been a big storyline. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of time. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. Left punch is good. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. Third round underway. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Uh, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Adesanya. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. And will land the single ground strike there. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Adesanya. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, that's a strong elbow there. The ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Elbow landed there by Romero. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. So the striking numbers continue to swell 147. Total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Well, a lot of connections, obviously, DC, and landing with 54% accuracy against Yoel Romero. That right hand. He landed in perfect place. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, Israel, the last battle of the
Josh. Man, it's, it's honestly unreal. I've said that shit for so long. They said I don't have no knockout power. <laughs> you too skinny, bro.